Hello everyone, in a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how we can create the first Java FX application using NetBeans. In this video, I will show you how to use Scene Builder to create your user interface. So, in this project, uh, in this video, I have already created this empty project. It is an ordinary project and I configured it as explained in the previous video so in the properties here you can see in the libraries i have already added the java fx library in the class path in the compile page and also in the run so in the run i added also java fx 16 in the module path also if we go to the run page we can see that i have already added this option so now we can uh, close this window and we can just add a new uh, java fx class so to, to do this i will make a right click then new then uh, java fx main class so i will call it java fx main class then let's click on finish so this class has been added and now let's add a new fxml file so to do this i will make a right click then new and then empty fxml so for this file i will call it main fxml then i will click finish so for the moment this class is not using the fxml file and if we go inside this class we see that it builds this button and it adds it to the window so to correct this I will just make a copy and paste a single line of code instead of all of this so I will remove all of this and I will paste this single statement so this statement allows us to build the user interface using the fxml file but there are some errors because I need to make some imports so I will make a click here then add import and I have to add a second import also here it is necessary to add try catch so I will click here and I will say surround with try catch now the errors disappeared and uh, here I have some imports which are not used so I will just remove them and also I can run this class so let's save it and now let's run it so for the moment I have this empty window I will just close it and I will complete the fxml file using scene builder so to do this i can either make double click on this uh, file or also i can make right click then open and now i will just complete this interface so i will add uh, level so I have to go to controls then here I have to find level so this is it I have to drag and drop it and for this level I will provide it with a name first name so I have to go to properties and here for the text I will say first name let's hit enter now I have to add a text field so I can find it just here so for this text field I need it in the Java code that's why I need to provide it with an ID to add the ID for this text field I have to click on code then here for the ID I will provide it with TF for text field uh, first name let's hit enter now let's add another label so this label I will provide it with the text last name
and also I will add another text field. So for this second text field, also I need it from the Java code. So I will go to code and I will provide it with an ID. So the ID will be TF last name. Now let's add a third label. So I have to find the label. This is it. And I will add it here. And for this label, I will provide it with the full width. And also, I want it to be empty because I will modify it from the Java code. So I will go to properties. Then I will remove the text of this label. Also, I want to provide it with an ID because I want to modify it from the Java code. So let's call it LB welcome. Now I need to add two buttons at the end of this frame so I will just add this first button and for the text I will uh, write OK also I will add a second button just here So for the text of this second button, I will just say clear. Now when I click on this button, I want to execute some statements. So I need to go to code. And here, when I click on this button, I need to execute a function that I will call btn ok click it. I will do the same thing for the second button and when I click on this button I will execute a function called btn clear click it. Now let's hit enter. As you can see I did not provide an ID for these two buttons because I don't need to modify them from the Java code. Just I need to provide the function that will be executed when I click on these two buttons. Now let's save this uh, file, so I will click on save, then I will go back to NetBeans and here I need to generate the controller and the controller is the Java class that allows me to control the fxml uh, file. So I will make a right click and I will click on make controller. So this Java class has been created and it contains these three uh, variables and it also contains these two methods which will be executed when I click on the two buttons. So in this method when I click on the OK button I want to read the content of the two text fields and to add this content into the LB welcome label. So let's do this. Now, when I click on the clear button, I want to clear the two text fields and the LB welcome label. So let's do this. Now let's save this file and let's go back to the main class. So in the main class, I have just to remove this part because I will not set the dimension of the window. I will just use the default size that has been set using the scene builder so just i will remove this and i will save the class then i will run it and as you can see this is the obtained window so let's provide a text a name in the first field let's say bill and in the second field let's say gates now if i click on ok I obtain this text here and if I click on clear this text is removed from the label and from the two text fields so this is all for this video I hope it is useful for you thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel